In this video, we'll look at whether FeClO4-3 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water. This is iron 3 perchlorate. To figure that out, we need to know the neutralization reaction that produces the iron 3 perchlorate. So we have our perchloric acid and our iron 3 hydroxide. They neutralize. We get a salt here, the FeClO4-3, and water. That's our neutralization reaction. Next, we need to figure out the strength of the acid and the base so we can use these rules to figure out whether iron 3 perchlorate is acetic, basic, or neutral. This table here is a really useful one to memorize. So we're looking at the table. Right here is perchloric acid. It's a strong acid, Sa, up here. Looking for iron 3 hydroxide, and we don't see it on our list of strong bases. So it's going to be a weak base. So now we have the strength of the acid and the base. We can use that and the rules to figure out whether we have an acetic, basic, or neutral solution. Looking down our rules, we have a strong acid and a weak base. Here's a strong acid and a weak base. The pH will be less than 7, so it's going to be acetic. So in answer to our question whether FeClO4-3 is acetic, basic, or neutral, it'll form an acetic solution when it's dissolved in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.